Okay, so what I'm going to do here is initialize ZBrush and hit yes. I'm going to make a square document. Unclick Pro to do this, and then I'm going to give it a resolution of 1024 by 1024 and hit resize. Zoom out. And let's make that same uh, little setup, uh, cylinder, geometry, divide, divide, divide. Okay. Now, unclick edit, go to the sphere, set it on top, go to move, go back to edit, make sure you snap it. This is why I do small projects with students now, rather than big, huge, let's make the Dwarf of Mordor projects, because, uh, yeah, they get solely frustrated when they can't make the Dwarf of Mordor just yet. Alright, next one, let's get that evil head. Let's see, this time, let's make a gear. Sure, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Nope, uh, let's go the original, because this is a there we go. So what I did, I just hit sub, but it didn't subtract right away. So if I click edit and click back on edit, it will do that. Now move. We'll clean up any of the nodes around it. For some reason, they occur. So this is a 1024 document. And if I go to grab document now, I'm grabbing the whole document being 1024 by 1024. Very cool. Now, if that spacing doesn't work out for you, maybe for a repeating brush, well, even if you use the material grabber, okay, so this is number three in my in my invention. I can go like this and grab it. Oh. Don't forget to turn the evil auto crop off. Okay, this is four in my invention. All right. There. Now I got four alphas. Okay. This one being captured at a very low res. High res. And we'll sort it all out. Okay. Now, initialize ZBrush. Let's make something we can sculpt on together. That way we're not keep working backwards. Okay. So first off, let's go get something. Let's make a macro. New macro. 3D plane. Click and drag it out. Hit edit. Make that a poly mesh. Now I'm going to do this twofold and you're going to thank me later on. I'm going to show you a little trick later on. So this script is going to be useful later. So frame. Geometry. Take off smooth. Make sure there's a texture here. So there is and reconstruct. So I'm going to reconstruct to right about here. Now, let's divide it. Divide, 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 and let's see. I think I had to divide it 10. 1 million polys. That's very good. Okay, so macro and macro. Let's put that in the miscellaneous directory under startup and call this scribble plane. Okay, now that I have this, uh, and I tell you what, this is very useful. I'll show you later. It's pretty cool. But for right now, um, it's a very good useful thing to kind of show the brush. Now, I got the standard brush here. Let's go to a drag rectangle. And I want the representation of the original elf I captured. So I have to do something. I have to go to the edit curve and reset it and bring this all the way up. That way it stands true and it doesn't get warped as it goes back into the Z depth. Okay, and I'll explain. Okay, so here we are. We got this one. Okay, that is very unique. I've never quite seen that. Maybe it's my resolution. But on my monitor, that looks like an egg. Hmm. Let me uh, make sure that this isn't screwing it up. Nope, it's 
still weird. Okay, so that one is probably oblong like that because of the fact that I captured the document. Yeah, so that was the whole I captured a huge document thing. This one, remember the document wasn't square. Keep that in mind. Okay? Okay, again, not a square document, but I captured it. This one, I used Material Grabber to capture, and this was a low-res document, or low-res item. This one, I grabbed a square document. Okay. Oblong document. Closer grab using material grabber. What do you learn from this? Well, one, never grab an unsquare document or you're going to get an egg. Two, if you go to grab the document, it's better to actually grab just what you're grabbing. The little tiny area inside here using the material grabber. Don't grab the whole document. Uh, it could be a little, uh, maybe a pixel or two off because there's this little funky thing that goes around. If you don't render the document, it turns out it has two pixels shy up at the top. So Material Grabber wins, and make sure you capture it off a very high-res document or it's not going to be turning out 100%. If you want it to stand a little off, well, that's all you do is have to rank up the intensity. And there we go. All right, so in the next chapter, I show you a little bit more about this wondrous thing called an alpha.